Leviticus chapter 6. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, If a person sins and commits a trespass against Yahweh by lying to his brother about what was delivered to him for safekeeping, or about a pledge, or about a robbery, or if he has deceived and extorted from his brother, or if he has found what was lost and lies concerning it, or vows falsely, in any one of these things a man may do, sinning, then it shall be, because he has sinned and is guilty, that he shall restore what he has stolen, or the thing which he has deceitfully obtained, or what was delivered to him for safekeeping, or the lost thing which he found. For all he has vowed falsely about, he shall restore its full value, adding one-fifth more to it, and giving it to whomever it belongs on the day of his trespass offering. Then he shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh, a ram without blemish from the flock, along with your valuation, as a trespass offering to the priest. So the priest shall make atonement for him in front of Yahweh, and he shall be forgiven for any one of these things he may have done in trespass. Then Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering shall be on the altar hearth all night until morning, and the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it, and the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen undergarments, and take up the ashes of the burnt offering the fire has consumed on the altar, putting them beside the altar. Then he shall take off his garments, putting on other garments, and carry the ashes outside the camp to the clean place. The fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not be put out. The priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and he shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. The fire must be kept burning on the altar continuously. It must not go out. This is the law of the grain offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it on the altar in front of Yahweh. He shall take from it a handful of the fine flour of the grain offering, with its oil and all the frankincense which is on the grain offering, and shall burn it on the altar for a pleasing aroma as a memorial to Yahweh. The remainder of it Aaron and his sons shall eat. As unleavened bread it shall be eaten in a holy place. In the court of the tent of meeting they shall eat it. It shall not be baked with leaven. I have given it to them as their portion from my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, like the sin offering and the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aaron may eat it. This is a statute forever in your generations concerning the offerings made by fire to Yahweh. Everyone who touches them must be holy. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and his sons, which they shall offer to Yahweh on the day he is anointed. One-tenth of an ephah, of fine flour, as a daily grain offering. Half of it is to be offered in the morning, and half of it is to be offered in the evening. It shall be prepared with oil on a griddle. Bring it well mixed, and present the grain offering, broken in pieces, as an aroma pleasing to Yahweh. The priest from among his sons, who is anointed to succeed in his place, shall offer it. It is a statute forever to Yahweh. It shall be completely burned. Every grain offering of a priest shall be burned completely. It must not be eaten. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, the sin offering shall also be killed in front of Yahweh. It is most holy. The priest who offers it for sin shall eat it. It shall be eaten in a holy place, in the court of the tent of meeting. Everyone who touches its flesh must be holy. And when its blood is sprinkled on any garment, you must wash it on which it was sprinkled in a holy place. But the earthen vessel it was boiled in shall be broken. If it is boiled in a bronze pot, it must be both scoured and rinsed in water. All the males among the priests may eat it. It is most holy. But no sin offering whose blood is brought into the tent of meeting to make atonement in the holy place shall be eaten. 
It must be burned completely in the fire.